Thanks, Paula. It's a, a real pleasure to be here. Um, and it's a really topical subject, I feel, at the moment. Oh, it's certainly been brought out um, more and more over the past two years. Who hasn't heard about virtual um, and VAs? It used to be a thing that people would kind of um, glaze over whenever I said, oh, you know, I'm VA, and they go, what? So what I'm going to talk to you about is um, the virtual advantage and really cover the benefits of a virtual workforce and how to find on board and work successfully with VAs and virtual team members. Um, I wanna really help in this presentation to demystify the perceptions around remote working. Um, although I'm sure plenty of people who are watching this will have experienced remote working, right? And know that it actually is a thing that can work, especially, you know, making sure it's set up correctly. So we have VAs here in Australia that, um, that you know, can be at your beck and call and you're actually at your fingertips without you really even understanding that that's there. For some people, they didn't realise that we had an onshore workforce, a lot of legal um, experience coming into the virtual assistant industry. So it's a really great, exciting time, I think, for um, law firms, actually, if they're wanting to outsource to remote workers. So I really, you know, part of this is that I also understand that not everyone, everyone knows how to find great virtual support staff. It's kind of like this big gap. Yes, I know I'd like to try it, but how on earth do I find great people? So we're going to go through that together and we're going to talk about some really good tips around onboarding and how to work successfully in this space. So, you know, I'm sure that you've heard um, terms bandied around, especially recently, like the Great Reset, um, the Great Resignation, <laughs> all those big terminologies that people are starting to talk about. Um, and now, all of a sudden, what we're finding is, okay, in uh, certainly where I am in New South Wales, um, we are allowed to go back to the office. Um, but... Here's the thing, and it's a bit of a kicker, that not everyone's going to want to go back to the office after close to two years, maybe, or maybe even more, of working from home. They understand that it's actually a great thing. And so, you know, we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to talk about the benefits, so the virtual advantage. So let's get into it. Um, so I want to talk about how it all works, the industry. Um, we're going to touch on the topic of superstar virtual assistants that's my terminology but I want you to know what you can expect you know there are certainly some people who are I wouldn't class as superstar VAs and we don't want you to have to you know experience negative um, when it comes to working with a virtual workforce we want you to experience the best of the best so we're going to talk to you about that and what you can expect we're going to discuss the virtual advantage I've got some case studies of four legal VAs, just so that you can understand how they work. Um, and we're going to talk about onboarding and working successfully with VAs or virtual team members. And yeah, we're going to look at where to find quality certified virtual legal team members. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. 